what's up vegans and pre vegans tonight I'm talking about P to the J max why crazy right anyway when I think about TJ max I think about one of these stores that's all chaotic and there's stuff everywhere and it's like oh, what's going on in here and for the most part that is how TJ max is like last time I went in there there was like just things everywhere but in the back or wherever they have this section at in your TJ Maxx if you have a TJ Maxx they have this little gem of an area where they have snacky type food not like Doritos and things along although they do have chips and stuff like that but they have a lot of like hidden little gem snack food that happens to be vegan yes and it's cheap so last time I was there a couple weeks ago uh I went through that area. I found some interesting stuff. Yeah, so first thing is I got these this uh the GFB, the gluten free bar. This company is called the GFB. Never heard of it before. <clears throat> but right here you got that magical little V for vegan and the ingredients. Non GMO ingredients, all of them. If you're into that kind of stuff. This is toasted cashews, organic brown rice, syrup, complete protein blend, brown rice protein, and pea protein, organic agave nectar, toasted coconut, organic crisped brown rice, organic dates, organic sunflower seeds, golden flaxseed, organic safflower oil, and natural coconut flavors. Pretty darn good, right? All stuff that you know what the hell it is. And then, who doesn't like chickpeas? And who doesn't like chickpeas with cinnamon on them? So the good bean gave us chickpeas with cinnamon on them. And again, 6 grams of protein, 5 grams of fiber, gluten-free, nut-free, roasted chickpeas, expeller press safflower oil, sugar, cinnamon, gum, Arabic, whatever that is, don't know, vanilla sea salt, and natural flavors. Some could question what the natural flavors are. I don't. Maybe I'm a bad vegan. Sue me. So then we had some chocolate covered nuts. Never had a chocolate covered pecan before. These were pretty good. 56% cacao. And it has dark chocolate, sugar, cocoa mass, cocoa butter, uh, soy lichen, lithium, uh, dry roasted pecans, confectioner's glaze. I know that can be a sticking point too. I don't know. I didn't research it. I just go on the assumption. And more of that gum Arabic stuff. Also, dark chocolate covered cashews. Uh, some of my favorite. I love cashews. I love dark chocolate. Put them on together. Can't go wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. So, just about the same actual ingredients as the other one. All natural, no artificial flavors, no cholesterol, no trans fat, blah, 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 blah. And then again, this, uh, this GFB company, they have these bites. It says right here in the front, non-GMO, vegan, soy-free, ridiculously tasty. It says it right there that they're ridiculously tasty. Dairy-free, gluten-free, protein-packed snack that you won't believe is actually good for you. So this is a dark chocolate coconut. As you can see, there's only one left in there because I've eaten the whole package. And, but there's a lot of coconut flakes in there. I feel like... Uh, a lot of the balls lost the coconut flakes. There was more coconut flakes than balls in there. And I actually had another one that was peanut butter and jelly, but I ate that all. Ate those all. Not that all. Those all. Because uh, that was good. So these are all. These were all pretty cheap too. The, the pecans was three thirty nine, three ninety nine. Uh, the cashews are four fifty. Um, I actually found Vega protein powder there once, like super cheap. That stuff's like $45, $50 most places, and it was like $30 there. Mm. Speaking of Vega protein powder, mixed berry with some Bolt House Farm pea milk, P-E-A, not P-E-E. -E. And no, Vega, Bolt House, they're not sponsoring this ad. Would be cool if they did, but they're not. Just, I like it. So... Yeah, back to TJ Maxx. Um, so, yeah, this stuff is in the back area. Um, 
they have snacks and, and chips and other things along those lines, but you have to look through everything because it is total chaos on that shelf. Everything is thrown all over the place. So you have to look through and say, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this? And then you find the magic. So it's worth a, worth a, I wouldn't say it's worth a trip if you're in the area and you're looking for some snacks. Stop by at TJ Maxx. Um, they do have some uh, some interesting little finds there. These stuff are all good. I haven't opened the chickpeas yet, but I assume that they're good. Why wouldn't they be good? So, TJ Maxx, I know it's weird, but they have these weird vegan finds in the back there. So, if you're in, your, in the area, check out your local TJ Maxx. See, I keep all these right here. You can't see this table, but I got this table right here, and I keep all my little snacks in here. Because this room right here, this room is my vegan manager. That's, that's my wall of compassion back there. And right up at the top, it says, real men don't eat animals. So, my snacks go in here. My TV over there is where I play my video games. Got my vegan snacks at my table. Do my YouTube stuff here. Got the vegan man cave. Get my snacks at TJ Maxx. Look at that, I'm rhyming. Pfft, what? Anyway, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you hate my video, you hate me, you hate everything about me, you hate vegans. That's on you still. Still on you. But you can give it a thumbs down. I won't get offended. Share, comment, throw it away. I don't know what you do with these things. Um, tell me what you think. You ever been to TJ Maxx? Have you found any of these uh, little treats? Uh, where do you find your random vegan treats at? Uh, I think Marshall's and Ross are similar to TJ Maxx. Um, I've never checked those out. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you found, where you find them at, and what you think. Until next time, be vegan.